So you were talking about the vocal. Do you want it to be that muffled? No, 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 no. I, I think it's just because I, I, yeah, I was just trying to figure it out right now with the. So cut it on, cut it like that, like a low end cut, and um, right. I would cut it to like. I'm trying to think, play it real quick. Blast off. Okay, yeah, there's some high ends. Honestly, you can keep it right there. I think it sounds good, but play it one more time. Now you see where those Blast off. you see where like those mountain peaks are coming from. Right yeah, here, right? so yep, yep, right there, definitely. And then probably in the high end, you could just do like a little dip, but do the first E. Blast off. Yeah, right. In the you high see, end, do like a little. Yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely. Do Blast that. off. A little more, a little more. That's pretty good. Blast off. Oh, yeah, that's that's way better. Blast off. No, not like that. So um. On your scroll wheel, just scroll down a little bit on the four. It should oh, actually okay. do like a peak kind of thing, like a notch. A little wider though. Okay, a little, just a little more. Blast off! And then let's see. I'm trying to think what else. Blast off! Now, do you have? Oh, ki yeah. Kilohertz. Uh, just the free, just the free stuff. Not so free. yeah, you have the kilohertz delay. Put the kilohertz to land. It, this is just like trial and see if you like this. This isn't something you should always do, but it's something I kind of okay. like to do when it comes to like dubstep tunes. It makes vocals kind of sound cooler. Oh, yeah. All right, so drag that all the MS down to 20. And kind of play with it around there, maybe 22 or something like that. 21, 22, it doesn't matter. Now it's gonna sound way cooler. Blast off! Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and you might want to. Oh, you. Uh, that kind of sounds like the one. I don't know if you used the delay in that one of uh, dragon sparring. Is it that? Yes, one? I always do this. I always do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, turn down the feedback just a little bit. Probably. It's probably like forty or something, so it's not too resonant. The end of this, put a soft clipper. So just so that the uh, the vocal's always hitting a, co a consistent volume, like a ceiling. So it's not just like all over the place. Then just leave, leave a default yeah. or the EQ, my bad, I'm sorry. So like normally when you're adding effects like delay or um, chorus or anything like that, you kind of want to put the EQ after all that stuff so it EQs what you already had EQ'd. Because when you add more effects, it's just gonna add the frequencies back or add more frequencies. You can honestly just do a scroll wheel. You can literally just uh, hover over that and scroll wheel it up. Uh, like, you just click, hold it and... No, no, you don't even hold it. You just, like, hover over the delay. Like, hover your mouse over the delay, and you should be able to just scroll, like, up with your scroll wheel. Oh! Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Oh, dude, thank you for teaching me those little shortcuts, dude. Those shortcuts come in handy. Oh, yeah, for sure. Of okay. course. And on your, so normally what I do with claps, just because like claps can be a little aggressive, put a little dip around the six. So the 2K range, it's kind of like a wide dip. Same thing that we kind of did with the vocal, but not too, excuse me, sorry, not too much. A little, just a little more, pull it down a little more. A little wider. So it's kind of like a wide, like a really wide. Wide, okay. A little more wide. And then kind of move it over just to the right a little bit. Yeah, it should be good, actually. There we go. So with the kick, that is correct. So you, I saw that you had a transient of a kick, right? Yeah, so like, let's say you're... Okay, so like you have your main kick which is yep. the one that we just did 15 and then under that it, it looks like you have you, you have another kick here so if you have another kick you want to only be using the transient of that kick you don't want to mix two kicks together because that's gonna, just going to cause phasing below the piano thing right there yep and then that actually go back wait yeah that should be good play the play track eight alone just real quick so i can hear it that's good. So that's a transient.
And what you're doing right here, actually, is you're just making... So you have your kick, right? But then you have this under it. What that's doing is just making it more punchy. That's good. No, I think we're doing the... Your clap's good. Let's do your hats oh, real quick. The, oh, yeah, the hats. You're right, you're right, you're right. So let's see your EQ on it. Okay, yeah. I would cut those off around to 1K, maybe 500. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Pretty much everything in the mix should have its, like, it's like a pasta. Everything should have its place. You don't have to do a hard... So, like, with this, you don't have to do such a hard cut because you kind of still do want the dynamics of the of, uh, uh, the EQ range on it. So, it depends on what you're going for. But normally, not cutting it the hardest works. It's kind of what you get right, right there. It's fine. And then for your symbols, we're going to turn them down just 2 dB. Because we don't want the symbols to be... It depends on each mix of your tune, but right here, you can obviously hear that they are like really up front in the mix, and we don't want that. We kind of want them to be like riding in the mix for this type of vibe. So what we're going to do is on the volume of them, on the mixer, we're just going to turn them down just a little bit. It's like a dB, probably 2 dB. That. We don't, you're, not, you're not even doing anything with it. Just delete okay. the just delete the soft clipper. And then put the G okay. clip at the bottom. Like way bottom? Yep, like right there. It's fine. And then what's whatever your main EQ is. See your main EQ. Okay. Is that your sound for your EQ? Or is that one right there? I, I'm pretty positive it's this one. Let me let me <laughs> Yeah, let's use this one. But what you're going to do is you're going to add that uh, high-end dip that you did on their first one onto this one. And then we're also going to add it back down to 150. We're going to cut it off at 150 on the low end. So you normally, it just, oh, hard cut it. Okay. Uh, you actually just default, default it, and then we'll just do it from default. Copy. Okay, cool. Cut that off at 150 or 160, probably 160, honestly, just to give the sub a little space and a little room. And then just hard cut it so it's like four boxes, I'm pretty sure. There we go. And then, okay, cool. And now what we're going to do is kind of play it. we play it, play it. You see all those peaks? You see where that peak is around six? Yeah, you want to you want to pull that down. Like a notch, not like a dip. Yeah, that should work. And then I saw that you did. I saw that you did a high end EQ. So we're on the seven. Yeah, pretty much do that exact same thing. I think that actually helped your sound since it's a little raspy up there. And you know the one thing about this sound that's really good that you did good on it is it's um, a lot of the times I find people like not compensating for like certain ends of the spectrum. So like, let's say they have like a sound that's really midi, but no, you don't need to do that much. Hell no. <laughs> uh, how come? Probably right around there is good. All right, all right, all right. So your sound is really good all over. So it's like it's it's got enough mids, it's got enough low mids, and it's got enough highs and you know, kind of like tremble and everything like that. So your sound is actually pretty good across the spectrum.